Hey guys, Ryan Kearns here. Thanks for coming. And today I just want to talk about how Lyme disease symptoms change over time. We've talked about how Lyme disease is different from person to person, but we haven't yet talked about how Lyme disease symptoms can change in ourselves over time. So that's what I want to cover today and we're going to talk about this in depth. Well, the fact is that Lyme disease changes. It, it changes over time. Different symptoms arise. Different things happen. Our immune system responds differently. And what happens is we need to treat that differently as well. And I know that changing symptoms and the changing feelings that come with Lyme disease might make you feel like hopeless or like it's just not working because, you know, I understand you might go through really treating one one symptom phase, really treating it, you know, doing everything you can in order to get rid of that, those terrible symptoms, whatever they may be. And then when you get rid of them, then all of a sudden different symptoms arise. And that's just frustrating. It's annoying. It's, um, it's discouraging. It really, it really messes with you to say the least when your symptoms just switch and change on you like that. So, you know, I completely understand how terrible that is and it, it really sucks, but there's nothing we can do about it. That's how Lyme disease is. And today I'm going to tell you exactly why the symptoms change over time so that you can better understand it and maybe you can change the way you think about it and your mindset can change a little bit around you know, how frustrating it is to have your symptoms just changing all the time. So the first reason that the symptoms change all the time is that Lyme disease is multiple infections. And I've talked about this before, but just to recap a little bit, when you get bit by a tick, when you get contract Lyme disease from whatever animal that bites you, a mosquito, a tick, 300 species carry it. Anyway, when you get bit, Lyme disease is not just the Borrelia bacteria. Oftentimes there's multiple, multiple co-infections, including Babesia, Bartonella, Anaplasma, Mycoplasma, um, Ehrlichia, the list goes on. There's so many different co-infections and different pathogens that enter the body when you get the disease. So, that being said, our body, our immune system can only really focus on one of those at a time. And that's usually the symptoms that you'll feel. So, if your body's focusing on Bartonella, for example, your body will go out, attack the Bartonella, and then you'll get the symptoms that go with Bartonella. Now, if you come in with treatment that aligns with what it, your body's fighting off, and will help it fight it off, then the Bartonella will go away. Now your body might be experiencing symptoms of Babesia or Borrelia, and, and then you need to fight those off instead. And that's one reason why the symptoms change, is just because there's multiple infections in the body, and the immune system can only really focus on fighting off one at a time. And that's mo a lot of the time that's a huge problem with Lyme disease is that our immune system is being compromised by a different pathogen, a different infection, while we're trying to fight off the infection that is causing the symptoms, right? So for example, you might have Bartonella and Babesia and Borrelia in your system. Well, chances are you have to get rid of the Bartonella and the Babesia before you can get to the Borrelia. And I'll cover all that stuff in another section. But the reason that symptoms change over, the time, over time is because it's multiple infections attacking the body, not just one. The second reason that the symptoms change often is because the organisms themselves change. Let's, let's assume for a second that you're only dealing with Borrelia burgdorferi. Turns out that Borrelia burgdorferi have 24 extra strands of DNA that allow it to change its body composition and change its genomic structure so it can go unnoticed within the immune system. Now, this obviously causes a huge threat and it, it can also insist, roll up in balls, stretch out in a straight line, and as you know, go into a spiral shape, which can then dig into the joints, into the muscles, into the endothelial cells in the body where it can you know, get the nutrients that it needs. So, the point is that they change. They, they do whatever's going to help them survive the best. And that's different in different people because our immune systems have different responses to the Borrelia organisms. So they do whatever's gonna allow them to survive, to thrive, to reproduce, and to gain the nutrients that they need. 
this causes the symptoms to change a lot over time and you know especially if say we're taking an herb that really helps the heart because we're having heart problems due to Lyme disease so we're taking something like reishi mushroom or or something that has resveratrol in it that can protect the heart and the brain now the Lyme disease organism might respond to this by changing what it does it might move down and go into the joints and really cause havoc in the joints instead so that it doesn't die and it you know increases its chance for survival and thriving in our body beyond the extra dna that those organisms have they also have a number of different lipoproteins that they can change which is you know causes their outer coating so you know think of it as as the organism putting on a coat as to fit in or change what it looks like so the immune system can't recognize it can't fight it off and can't see it okay so you know they're extremely advanced organisms they do whatever it takes to survive and so the symptoms change as they change so the second reason that symptoms are always changing is because the organisms themselves are always changing the pathogens themselves are changing the third reason why symptoms always change is because our immune system fluctuates right so the other two reasons were related to the organisms themselves but this reason is related to how our body is handling the infections and fighting them off the immune system changes for a variety of different reasons ranging from what we eat to what we do to our emotional stress to our you know work-life balance and all types of different things affect how our immune system is going to respond to a pathogenic infection such as Lyme disease. So to give an example, let's say someone's going through treatment and they're doing a really good job and they're killing off all the Lyme disease bacteria, all those pathogens, they're killing them off slowly and their body's starting to feel better and they're doing well and their immune system is thriving and then one day they have a death in the family or some other you know extreme thing that causes just a terrible extreme amount of stress in their life this stress might directly cause the symptoms of Lyme disease to flare up change remodulate and do a number of different things in the body so that extreme stress is just terrible for the body and it can really do some damage when you're already on a healing journey and then something happens so you know it's it's not fair, it's not cool that that happens, but it's a reality that we have to face that when we go through extreme stress, our immune system is affected in, a, in an extreme way. So then the parasitic bacteria that lives within us thrive on that and they get their chance to take back over. So, so it's important to realize how your emotional stress and how you're handling stress in everyday situations and what you eat and what you do and how you act all those things can affect your immune system and all those things can affect how our body is healing from Lyme disease and if they get affected greatly if there's an extreme case of something that causes you know stress or or just you know rocks your world and messes you up maybe even knocks you off your healthy eating pattern if something like that happens oftentimes our immune system suffers in which case the Lyme disease bacteria gain a foothold fight back and win and then you're back in the deeper hole that is Lyme disease. And look, if you're going through an extreme amount of stress, if you're going through something difficult, I, I actually want to tell you my door is open. And the reason I got into this work, the reason I came to YouTube and I came online and started talking about Lyme disease is because I have an extreme passion towards helping people. And if you're suffering, if you're hurting, if you need help, I want you to know that I'm here and I will help you however I can if you reach out to me. So feel free to reach out to me at any time with any problems that you're having. I'd love to talk to you about them, try to get you through them, try to help you out and really be there for you and be your friend in this battle against Lyme disease and whatever else may be causing stress in your life. So those are the three reasons why the symptoms change so often and the best thing we can do to heal ourselves from Lyme disease is to better understand the disease and why it does what it does and in that case we can change the way we think about it, change the way we act, and change the way we heal. So again, 
the symptoms change because there's multiple infections, the organisms themselves change, and our immune system fluctuates up and down over time. And remember, there's support all around you, and I'm really looking to build a community of people that have each other's backs and want to support and bring positivity into other people's lives. So, you know, if you are, if you need help, please reach out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's Ryan Kearns. Thanks for watching that video and I hope you pulled something from it and got value from it. I just wanted to let you know that I recently wrote an ebook that details my story of my battle with Lyme disease and how I healed myself with diet, herbs, and healthy conscious living. It's called Lyme Wars. How I counterattacked Lyme with nutrition, herbs, and healthy conscious living. If you're interested, it's actually completely free for the time being, and you can click on the link below or go to lifenutrition.com to get your free copy. If you like what you saw in this video, push subscribe below, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye bye.